Hundreds of people turned out at a beach in Seattle for an evening vigil remembering Asener Esge Eiji, the 26-year-old human rights activist from Seattle killed by the Israeli military during a protest in the occupied West Bank last week. Many attendees held photographs of Eiji in her graduation cap. They laid roses, sunflowers or carnations at a memorial where candles spelled out her name in the sand. Several described becoming fast friends with her last spring during a protest against the Israel-Hamas war at the University of Washington. Yosef Ghazal said she introduced herself as Baklava, a name she sometimes used on messaging apps, reflective of her love of the sweet Mediterranean dessert. Eiji, who attended Seattle schools and graduated from the University of Washington with a degree in psychology this year, helped negotiate with the administration on behalf of the protesters at the encampment, which was part of a broader campus movement against the Gaza War. The Israeli military said Eiji was likely shot, indirectly and unintentionally, by its soldiers, drawing criticism from American officials, including U.S. President Joe Biden, who said he was outraged and deeply saddened by her killing. There must be full accountability, Biden said in a statement released Wednesday. And Israel must do more to ensure that incidents like this never happen again. Several at Wednesday night's vigil described those comments as insufficient and Israel's promise of a criminal investigation as worthless. Agee's family has demanded an independent investigation. Fires, setting fires, painting water, harassing. We see videos coming out from us in second, third floors of bomb buildings. Videos of bodies so just We welcome the White House's statement of condolences, but given the circumstances of Aisha Noor's killing, an Israeli investigation is not adequate. On Friday morning while driving to work, I was here to carry on her legacy. I am so honored that all of you chose to be here. She was someone that traded stories and jokes and stayed up late with me. I don't think I've fully processed what's happened. All I know is I feel incredibly heartbroken, but to see so many people from so many aspects of her life here, how many lives she's touched, how many people cared just as much for her as she cared for them, it's beautiful to see that the community has shown up for Aisha Noor and that her love continues past. We cannot stand it anymore. We get up every day wondering just how we could stand here. All occupied, besieged, tyrannized peoples and lands. This beautiful soul. <laughs> so I want justice for Aisha Noor and I want justice for her family. And so I hope that the administration and the U.S. government will launch an independent investigation. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's time to come again. Yeah, no, She was telling me that she was excited to be going to the West Bank, how she felt an honor and a privilege to be able to set foot in the West Bank when so many Palestinians were unable to step foot into their own ancestral lands, indigenous lands, and that she was honored to be able to bear witness. Yeah. I know that she would have loved this. I was looking around at everybody sharing stories about Aisha Noor, sharing tears and hugs, and this is exactly what she would have wanted. And I know that these new relationships and friendships, all sharing Aisha Noor as the starting seed, is the legacy that she would have wanted. Sharing our most unreserved thoughts about love, relationships, friendships.
على إيمانها والتزامها بالعدالة يا الله يا الله لا تضيع دمائها